we've got lots of different cloud providers out there. You've got EC2, you've got GoGrid, uh, you have uh, VMware ESX or vCloud, um, and also you have our uh, Red Hat product, uh, RevM, uh, all of which can do cloud management things, but they all have a different API. Um, so with Delta Cloud, what we wanted to do was unify those APIs with a set of different drivers. Now, in addition to having these different drivers that expose a common API across, we wanted to have an end user portal to all of the drivers so that um, you could set this up inside your company, um, come, to the, come to the portal and your users can go create instances, move them around, uh, start them, stop them, and all of that. Um, and the underlying cloud providers are relatively transparent. What I'm going to do is just uh, connect to Amazon, create a virtual machine, um, and then I'm going to connect to RevM and create a virtual machine there and we'll be able to see that they're both there. Um, so I'll go over here and I'll click add a provider. Uh, and here I'll put in a name so it's my account on EC2. Um, and I'll choose the EC2 hypervisor and then I'll type the URL of the place where the driver is running, and I click Save. So the next thing to do is create an EC2 instance, and I fill in names, just the name is just for me to remember it by, although uh, for EC2 I'll actually ignore that. It gives it its own name. Then I choose a flavor. Uh, flavor is uh, like ec 2 small, medium, and large concept, so different sizes. Image is the image I want to run on EC2. And Realm, in this case, for EC2 is like an availability zone. For a different um, cloud provider, it might be a completely different thing, but it's a boundary around virtual machines. Now I click Save, and it takes me back to the instant screen and says it's pending. So we will leave that for now and come back and check on it later. Now I'm going to go back to the Add a Provider uh, button here, and I'll click that. And um, I get the new provider form again, and I'm going to create a RevM provider. Choose RevM as type. Choose the URL, and in this case, this is going to be the URL of the RevM instance, because that's where the driver runs. Click Save. Now I can create a RevM instance. Do that again, same procedure. I just click Create Instance, fill in my name, and I click down here and choose uh, Flavor. Then I choose an image to run, and I choose, I've only got one realm to choose from, so I choose Local, and that's the realm. Now if I go back to my EC2 provider, hopefully, yes, so my EC2 instance is also now up and running. So you can see how this lets an end user connect to um, multiple cloud providers, manipulate them from a common interface, and there is a common API across them as well.